the new console generation changing, there have been a few things that gamers have really looked forward to. Number one, the super fast SSDs that both the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series consoles have offered their customers. Secondly comes the graphical capabilities. The graphics that have jumped from this generation to next generation have been very big leaps so far, especially with the addition of ray tracing. And finally, the new innovations in the controllers for the next generation consoles. With Microsoft taking a more traditional path with their controllers, just changing a few things like a share button in the middle, the directional pad changing, and of course more grip on the triggers and the backing as well as USB-C support to the PlayStation 5 adding in haptic feedback, more grip on the sides, a cool new controller design, They've really, really changed up the game for their controllers. As with every former console launch, the same thing plagues each console company, and that is their availability. These consoles are extremely hard to find, and if you can find them, it's usually some scalper charging triple what the console's actually worth. Don't get caught up in those scams. But the one thing I like about what Microsoft and Sony have been doing this generation, they're making sure that their games library is available on both consoles. So if you go out to buy a PlayStation 5 game, such as Spider-Man Miles Morales, you can get it on the PlayStation 4 or the PlayStation 5. Same with Xbox. If you wanted to go out and buy Assassin's Creed, you can get it on your Xbox One S if you wanted to, all the way to the Xbox Series X. The fact that they're keeping it available for the people of last generation, at least until their consoles are readily available for the general public, is a great thing. So with that being said, why not add a little spice to your controller's life? Just recently, a company, Extreme Rate, had contacted me asking if I'd be interested in taking a look at their new upgrade kit for the PlayStation 4 controllers. It's called the Extreme Rate Decade Tournament Kit. It is a modification kit that changes the ergonomics of your PlayStation 4 controller. And this one is pretty interesting. Taking a look inside the box, it comes with every piece that you need to make this transition happen. Not only does it come with the shell, it comes with very great detailed instructions, so you really don't have to worry about making any mistakes. They cover it in great colored pictures and very detailed instructions. This is a solder or non-solder kit. If you want to use the thumbsticks as remappable buttons and the touchpad, that would require some soldering. If you don't mind about that, you can install this kit in no time and be ready to game tournament style. In my time with this controller, it took me about 30 minutes. Now I'm, I've been modding controllers for quite some time now, so it was a little easy for me to do. I find this kit being probably one of the easiest kits that I've ever modded with. Um, and I think you would have the same luck if you were to try it yourself. So as you can see here, it's a little thicker top to bottom compared to your traditional PlayStation 4 controller. So this PlayStation 4 controller kind of thin, this one kind of chunky. You'll also notice that the center button here has changed and they've added things like these friction rings to the front of this controller. Really cool addition. Now, if I flip the controller over to the back, you'll see there's four new trigger buttons with a control button in the center. So I can remap any of the, these four buttons on the back to any of the face buttons here on the controller. Now this isn't new technology, but it's cool technology. The last kit that I've done that was a PlayStation 4 kit actually uh, had singular buttons here or a button that rocks back and forth. This one gives you the ergonomics with these two buttons on the back. Also, you'll notice there are trigger stops and added grip here on the side of the controller. It really changes the game. My experience with this controller it feels a little different. It did take me a little getting used to. There are multiple colors for the controller as well, but I will say overall, I really enjoy the feel of it. It's quick on the fly change of the buttons here by pressing down on the back and changing, remapping the buttons on the front are very simple to do. My son actually enjoys this controller too. It does add a little bit of, like I said, heftiness to it. He did say that he liked or preferred the feel of this controller to his existing PlayStation 4 controller. I don't have anything bad to say about this. The, the transition to actually putting this controller together was actually very quick and simple. It took me about 30 minutes to do, and I did not do the soldering for it. 
uh, because I find that I don't typically use those thumbstick buttons or the touchpad as remappable buttons. I'm usually doing things like reloading and jumping, so I would need these face buttons to be remapped to the back. It's a pretty simple process to do, however. All you've got to do is hold this center button down for a, for a couple of seconds. You'll see it flash, and then you hold down the button on the back and the front to remap it to the button that you want to use. The trigger stops work pretty well. This is a full trigger pull here. And if I flick it to be the tighter trigger pull, you'll see it stops about halfway. It does add some quick flick when you're trying to get those quick shots in in games like Call of Duty or Fortnite. This controller mod kit is a pretty great upgrade, and I do recommend it for you. It runs retail at about $39.99. I will leave links in the description below for you guys, and if you do use those links, it does help out our channel quite a bit. Guys, that's going to do it for me. If you do have any questions or anything, post it in the comments down below. I'd like to know what are your favorite modifications that you've seen or maybe even done to your controllers in the past? And what are you looking forward to most this next generation with the new consoles that are out and new games that are coming out? What are some of the features you're looking forward to? Well, guys, that's going to do it for me. I am Ben, the Curious Consumer. I do appreciate you guys stopping by. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up and Again, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. Hit the bell notification down below. It'll notify you guys every time we make a new video. And as always, stay curious, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.